This is Sophia Marie Bushnell. Matthew 19, verse 13 through 15 says, The little children were brought to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and for him to pray for them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them, and Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. And when he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. We have further instructions from the scripture in Psalm 127 that tells us that children are a blessing from the Lord. Yes. It's an exciting thing whenever we see a new child enter into a family. Yes, it is. It's a wonderful experience. There's no greater moment that, than those moments when parents sense that their children finally they get that understanding that they truly are a gift from God. Yes, they are. The family is a divine design. Mm -hmm. It's a divine institution that was ordained of God in the beginning of time. And children, as the scripture says, are a heritage of God and are committed to their parents for care, protection, and training. And so today, Trevor and Miriam, I want to offer a word of caution to each of you that the dedication of this wonderful, beautiful little girl before the Lord is not a matter to be taken lightly, nor is it an empty ritualistic manner or a ceremony that we do here at Life Point Church, but it is a covenantal vow before God today. Yes, it is. Dedicating a child acknowledges God's sovereignty over her life and over your life, not only asking for his grace and wisdom and carrying out your responsibilities, but it's also important that all parents who are here today recognize their obligation and responsibility to God in this manner. Do you two understand and acknowledge this today? Okay. Moses' mother, Jochebed, trained her child after she gave him to God. Hannah recognized that her child, Samuel, was the Lord's because she received him as a gift from God. She believed that God would, could do more for Samuel and through him than she could do, so she gave him back to God while he was still young and tender. Her son's name was Samuel, which means he was God asked because he because he prayed and God granted or she prayed and God ain't granted her request. There are some mothers and fathers who are afraid to trust their children to the Lord. Hannah was not afraid. She said, as long as God lives. This child shall be given to him. The New Testament tells us that Jesus' own mother, Mary, brought the young child, Jesus, to the temple. And now Trevor and Miriam recognize the sacredness of their charge and now bring back to God the treasure which the Lord has entrusted them. So today they publicly acknowledge their responsibility for the nurture and the admonition of this child in the ways of righteousness. Trevor and Miriam, by coming forward this morning, do you hereby declare your desire to dedicate yourself and your baby to the Lord Jesus Christ? If so, answer we do. Do you promise to seek to lead her to accept Jesus as Savior and Lord at a young age? If so, okay. Do you promise to diligently teach God or teach her the, the Word of God? Do you promise, as best you are able, to set before her an example of a godly and consistent Christian life? You have named your child Sophia, which means wisdom. The name that you have chosen is very fitting because the word of God can be applied to her life. As it says in Proverbs 8, verse 11, wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Life Point Church. There's its pastor accepts a child in dedication and assumes a responsibility before God. In view of this responsibility, I charge all the rest of you who attend here at Life Point Church that you will do all that you can to provide and support a place of worship and instruction and community where this child can continue to live here and may hear the full counsel of God's Word. And 
that you will covenant together with this family to set an example by your lives and maintain an atmosphere in our church that will inspire Sophia to desire a Christian way of life. Yes, yes. And I charge that God shall remind you to pray for Sophia and pray for her parents. Yes. Good. And pray for her salvation. Yes. Let's just have you guys join me up here on the stage. I'm just going to take a little anointing oil here today. I'm just going to have a prayer of anointing with her today. Would you all just pray with us this morning? Yes. Father, we thank you. Lord, Father, we thank you. And Sophia, I anoint you today with this oil as a symbol of the Holy Spirit. We dedicate you to the Lord today. We pray for protection. We pray for guidance over your life. And today we dedicate you to the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. And today we just ask Father God that you would bless Trevor, bless Miriam, that you would just give them wisdom all the days of their life as they raise this wonderful, beautiful little girl. We pray, Father, that you would go before and behind. Just surround yes. Sophia with your yes. protection. Lord, she's so fresh. We pray, God, for every need that will come into their life. God, that you would just make provision for them, that they would sense the blessing and the favor of the Lord, not just not only upon their house, but even specifically in Sophia's life. We pray, Lord, that she would experience you in your presence at a very young age. And we ask, God, that your hand would be upon her, that your face would shine towards her, and that she would know the goodness of the Lord all the days of her life. So we pray that today in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. I have a few things that I'd like to give to you today. Trevor, first of all, I want to present you with this red rose. This red rose is given to you as a symbol because you're the father. It's a symbol of the bloodline. As the father figure, you are responsible for the spiritual direction of your home. You are the priest of your household. You must provide for your family material as well. But... You as parents cannot take your money to heaven with you, and you cannot take your home with you, and you cannot take your worldly goods with you. So Trevor, if you train Sophia up in the way of the Lord and the way that she should go, we have God's promise that you can take this precious life to heaven with you. Amen. Miriam, I want to present you with this yellow rose. As her mother, I present you with this yellow rose as a symbol of a mother's love. Because there's just something special about a mother's tender hand and loving prayers. Sophia will turn to you for comfort. She'll turn to you for love when she needs to turn to no one else in the world. I'm going to ask you to live your life for Jesus. And if you do, she will do the same. And then for Sophia... Now for Sophia, we present this white rosebud. It is a small, pure, and spotless rosebud. And my prayer is that this baby's soul would be pure and spotless until the day of the great rapture of the church, until Jesus comes Amen. to receive us all. Finally today, I just have a certificate to give to you of Sophia's dedication and a small copy of the New Testament for her. And we want to know that we love you guys and we're here for you to serve you and to serve Sophia and to do all we can to assist you in this, in this heavy responsibility. God bless you today. Amen.